Holy is the ultimate gamer. He's earned that. Holy one. A great guy. And his videos are fantastic. What's to do, YouTube? It's Holy One. And I am now a Nintendo fanboy, so I have to show you guys the awesomeness and the graphical horsepower that is the Nintendo Switch and its 9th gen exclusive games. Look at Pokemon Sword Armor of Isle. Not only have they released this awesome expansion that lets your Pokemon follow you at a crispy 720p, but they finally upgraded the tr tree textures to look even better now. Like, look at the polygons. There's less brownness. Now it's more of a bluish gray color. And the roots seem to be more flat at the bottom as you gather items in the world. And it looks so good in docked mode. This is docked photos we have here, guys. Look at Waylord, man. I like that Waylord has been shrunk down now. I can actually see the trainer. Now that the trainer has been properly sized, all these Pokemon have been shrunk down with these high quality animations. Like, Waylord just looks so good now. I can actually see the trainer. And look at the draw distance, guys. Like, the grass and the pop-in isn't as bad as you're moving towards items and the trees. Because, like, all these games have pop-in. And I feel like um, pop-in makes the game more immersive. Because, like, you know, you can you can just, you know, see more of the grass and the area around you. And it's not distracting at all. It's just high-quality animations. Pokemon Sword gets a 10 out of 10 for graphics. Look at Xenoblade. This is a remake, not a remastered, a remake. Look at how far the grass is drawn on the on this on the characters now. Like like the grass is drawn all the way up to that creature right there. Sure it doesn't cover the entire area, but the switch is doing that so you're focused more on the grass that's in front of you rather than the draw distance and the grass over there. And yes, the grass is missing completely in the background here, but that doesn't matter. All that matters is looking at the character in front of you, man. The character details are all that matter here. And look, look at all the vegetation. Sure, there's stuff missing in the background, and the characters are blurry as hell, but look at all the fauna in front of you. Like, the ground looks so good there. Same in Xenoblade 2. Sure, there's nothing in the background, and the frame rate is extremely cinematic at a crispy 19 frames per second, and the grass isn't really seeable in the background, but, like, all you care about is looking at the characters in front of you, man. And that 548p on both the Xenoblade games looks so good. Same with this, man. You don't need to worry about the things in the background and popping, man. All you gotta care about is looking at characters and just looking at them. Same with this. Look at all the particle effects, man. It's so good. I'm telling you, man. The Switch has the highest quality exclusives. And it's totally gonna beat the shit out of the PS5 and the Xbox Series L. Prepare to take that L, ponies and Xbox. <laughs>